Hello, welcome to Spurred On and welcome to another match preview battle. I'm Rhys James with Jack Bryden and I'm back. Barnaby is out injured and they've come crawling back to me. I feel like Jermaine Defoe. Went to Portsmouth for a bit and now I've returned to get another 300 goals in the Premier League alone. The boy is back. Thank you. Finally, finally, big Kevin Vimmer's getting his chance. Now, as you know, before we kick off with this uh, match preview battle, as you know, we at Spurred On have been getting involved with uh, FanDuel, uh, which is like fantasy football that you can do online. You wager a bit of money, you can win loads of money back, different 11 every week. If you're not signed up, get on fanduel.co.uk, get signed up. We've been doing it. Have you won any money? Uh, yeah, I've won quite a bit. It's actually really fun. So make sure you get involved. How much if you... have you won? Uh, I'm not going to disclose that information. Oh, damn it. But if you're good at it, then you will win money. So make sure to get involved. Reese is involved as well. It'll give you a bit more details on it now. Bought me this shirt. Uh, <laughs> basically, you go on, you create a unique 11 every week, and the highest points from that will uh, win you cash prizes. Uh, this week, if you're watching this on Tuesday, today, before kickoff in the Champions League, and you get involved in the FanDuel Champions League Tuesday contest, you've got a chance of winning your share of a pot of £3,500. Or, if you're involved tomorrow, on Wednesday, the Wednesday War Chest which is when we'll be doing it, because that's when we're playing Monaco. Uh, again, a chance to win anywhere within £3,500. That's the pot. You can win some money from that. What do you reckon? Do you fancy your chances? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, we've we, got a good team. We have. We've always, we always pick our team, don't we? It's yeah. always uh, people... Is it people who've been linked to Spurs? So normally with the Premier League ones, this week's a bit different because it's obviously Champions League. Normally with the Premier League ones, we will pick players that used to play for or do play for Spurs. So it's a bit more difficult this week because we had to pick players that... Potentially, uh, that were linked with the club a few years ago or play for the team now. So we have started with, in goal, Akin Fayev. He was linked with us in 2010. So there's a, a very tenuous link there. Means anyway, to in defence we have Toby, Yanga and Biwa, who we were linked with back in 2012, and Ben Davies at left-back. Obviously, he played really well against Stoke at the weekend. Uh, so we had to have him in the team. We do have Sun in the team also, yeah. uh, who scored twice at the weekend and won some points, didn't he? Yeah, it's 15 points a goal, I believe. So we've got you 30 points for that, plus 7 points for an assist. 37 points just from goals and assists. And then they also do it based on chances created mm. and if you draw a tackle, all that sort of stuff, draw a foul. So yeah. he would have got you loads of points. Yeah, Not so a bad shout in your team. All of these stats are brought to you by Opta as well. So it's tightly official, all above board. Sun would have got you loads of points at the weekend. So if you do join into the, into the competition this week, make sure to get him in your team. Uh, then following on from Sun, we have Modric in the middle and Koric, two very good players. Koric we were obviously linked with uh, in the summer and previous times before. And then to finish off the midfield, João Moutinho, who we were also linked with no a couple chance. of seasons back. He won't get you any points, mate. He's playing Spurs. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, we had to, we had to fill the midfield. Yeah. Who knows? He could get a goal. Then up front, we have the amazing Gareth Bale. In the middle, we have Wissam Ben Yedder, who I was oh, yeah. at, you know, uh, I was a little bit apprehensive to put in there, but hey. And then to finish up uh, the strikers, we have Baz Dost. So maybe they'll get us some goals, who knows? So that is our 11 for the game this you, week. You, of course, are not restricted to only selecting yeah, players obviously. who've been linked to Spurs. You can select whoever you like. Uh, and if you use the promo code Spurred On when you sign up, Fangio will match your first deposit up to 400 quid, or they will refund your first entry up to 10 pounds free credit if you do not win cash. That's that bit done. Let's get on with our match preview battle. We have got Monaco in the Champions League at Wembley. Very exciting times. I believe we've pretty much sold it out. Is that right? Yeah, over 80,000 tickets yeah, have been kicked sold. Off. I'm so going. Are you going? Yeah, definitely going. I think most Spurs fans that we know will be going. Yeah, so we'll exactly. hope to see you there. Because it was not that difficult to get a ticket. And it was uh, cheap. I mean, the process of getting a ticket was an absolute stitch up, but yeah. there was more available. And it was cheaper, weirdly. But there we go. Get 80,000 people in. That's how you do it. Uh, last time we played them was at White Hart Lane. Well, maybe not, but last time we played them at home was at White Hart Lane, not Wembley. Mm -hmm. We won 4 1. Eric Lamella got a hat trick. Yeah. Tom Carroll got the other goal. Do you fancy your chances of matching that this week? Don't tell me your score just yet. Though. I won't tell you the score, but. You confident going into uh, it? Yeah, I'm always confident with Spurs at the moment. At the, okay, just, at off the the moment. Of, just off the back of the weekend. Talk to me after the game and then <laughs> okay, I might I'll, have no, a different... No, I won't. Uh, <laughs> go on then, talk me through your starting 11. Let's so, my starting 11, I think we're going to go really strong. We spoke earlier and um, obviously with uh, games coming up thick and fast, we don't have a game till Sunday uh, against Sunderland. I think we're going to go strong. So, I'm going to go for Lloris in goal, Walker, Toby, Jan, Davis at left back, obviously with Danny Rose still injured. I'm going to go for Dyer and Wanyama in the middle. Yes, Dembele will be eligible for the game, but I think it might be a bit too soon for him to come back and play a full 90 minutes. So I'm going to start Wanyama in the middle there. Lamella, Ali and Eriksen. Sissoko might come on, I think, but I'm going to start yeah. with Ali in the middle. Obviously, again, he hasn't got much game time this season. So I'm going to start with those three and then Kane up top. 
fair enough. It's an interesting 11. It's a very strong 11. You don't think he's going to mix it around? Maybe I, Trippier, get those people involved. Obviously, they, you can bring these players on. So I'm thinking he'll start off strong, right. maybe get a foothold in the game, yeah. and then bring these players on. It's a di very difficult one to predict because mm. we've got more depth than we've had for a number of years. Yeah. And a lot of players who could get in a starting 11. Massively. Uh, it's very hard to tell. I've gone, I'd say, slightly more bold than that. Okay. I've taken a Go bigger for it. risk. No point us having the same squad. I've gone Lloris in goal. It's not mm -hmm. bold at the back. Lloris in goal, Walker, Toby, Jan, Davies, uh, Dyer, and Dembele. Okay. Gone for Dembele. He's not coming back from an injury. I think he'll be just, just raring to go. Whether he starts or not, I mean, I don't care if it faults my team. I don't care because I'm just happy that Dembele's back. As Fair I'm enough. sure what everyone will be. An honourable man. Uh, then I've gone Lamella, given his hat trick last time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've gone for Ericsson. I've gone for Kane. And I've gone Ooh, for Janssen. Two strikers. Yes, two strikers. Kane maybe in behind, which is what we like to do, which okay. I don't love that much. But I think he might give Janssen a run out in the Champions mm. League, starting up top. I don't think they're famous last words, but I don't think they're that strong. I looked at their squad. They've got Falcao up top. But yeah, I mean, sort of their team, they flick between strikers. But I mean, looking at their, they've won six out of eight games in the, in, so far this season. They've only lost one. Yeah, but France. But hey. I'm tempted Differently. to put Soko in because of the whole the French, the French mm. link, but I haven't. I think he'll come on, maybe half time. Maybe half time. I don't know. I've dropped Ali as well, which is, I'd say, bold. You monster. But also, I just think, who's going who's gonna to score for them? It was El Shirawi last year, scored in both games, and he was the only person who scored against he's us. He's not there anymore. Not there. Don't know where he is. Let us know in the comments. Go miss him. Oh, God. Well, he's <laughs> certainly not on their squad online. Maybe he is there, and you're going to slag us off. Don't <laughs> slag us off. Please. Right, what's your score prediction? I'm going to go slightly bold. I'm going to go Spurs 3-1. Off the back of that 4-0 win at the weekend, everyone's going to be very pumped. So I think we're going to get three goals. Um, Who's going to score? For us, I'm going to go for Lamella, Ericsson, because he looked mustard at the weekend as well, yeah. and Kane, who got off the mark, um, which, is, which is great for him. I think he's only going to push on now. Confidence will be high, and that's great for a striker. And for them, I'm going to go for Glick. <laughs> okay, Base, what's that? Partly based because I like the sound of his name, <laughs> but also uh, he wasn't too bad in the Euros as well, if I remember. And uh, I think we're, he's a defender, so I think we're going to concede from a set piece because that's what we usually do. Right, fair enough. We haven't conceded a lot of goals this year so far. No, I know, but who knows? Fair enough. I have gone for 3 0. Yeah. And I've got the exact same score as I've got Kane. Oh, okay. uh, I think now that he's off the mark, he'll settle in, hopefully, get start getting some yeah. goals despite how easy that goal was. Uh, Lamella, Lamella yeah. likes scoring against Monaco, and Ericsson, I've just, Ericsson was so good at the weekend, yeah. I feel like he'll probably get a goal. Uh, fair enough, pretty similar score predictions there, although I've, I've backed us, I've backed us to keep a clean sheet. Kept it strong at the back, I expect us to... Again, if, if we don't we concede, concede, then that, I'm all for that, obviously, I'll happily give fair you enough, the point. you're trying to give yourself a win-win, fair enough, I understand. That has <laughs> been our match preview battle. Let us know in the comments your starting eleven and your score predictions. Let us know how you get on in the FanDuel, FanDuel.co.uk to do that. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new, drop us a like and we will see you next time. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On and this is your regular Monday edition of Five Things We Learned.